made a cup of coffee, nice decaf. Do you hear that? The coffee. This game contains flashing lights. Just be advised. For best experience, adjust graphics and volume in settings. There is no puzzle menu. <laughs> Wear headphones and turn off the lights. Oh, okay. You got it. Darkness. The Lancaster Leak Entity Exam. True horror. We're gonna take an exam today. I have no idea what I'm getting myself into. I just saw analog and I was like, let's go! <laughs> We're getting the feeling that you aren't taking us seriously. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> no acknowledgement of missing Valerie or the tapes we are leaking. Leaking? This time we decided to reveal something a little bit closer to home. An old screen recording of one of your training protocols. If she isn't released, maybe the next leak will show how useless your training is. Does the agent body cam footage ring a bell? Entity Research Department. Or ERD. I don't know, it's ERD with you. Login user. Goobish. Password. Goobish. <laughs> wow. Okay. Required learning modules. Zero six. Okay. And then you do the exam. Face detection. This is interesting. Throughout ERD research, there has been one constant. Do I click or? Entities who possess human characteristics are the most violent, deceptive, and are the greatest threat to public security. Uh huh. It is imperative that agents have the skills to not only detect potential threats, but fast. Okay. BRD has found the one-year agent fatality rate goes down from 34.7 per 100 to 26.2 per 100 after taking this module and being proficient in this skill. Okay, so we survive. Using your cursor, click on the face in the image in the allotted time. Distractions may be employed. Uh-oh. Okay, click on the face. Begin. Uh-huh. Is that Michael Jackson? <laughs> oh, creepy! Oh, I don't like this. Eee! Oh! No, 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 no! <gasps> Hey, PT. <laughs> I recognize that one. Am I supposed to recognize all of these? Oof. No, thank you. Mm. Jesus, that one's scary. How long is this going to go? Till I make a mistake? Hmm. The big one didn't count. Jesus! Okay, so it just fails me after a while. 19 of 20. So it was just 20. Okay. I think it did pretty good. Clicked on some faces. Okay. So that's a thing that can happen. And then we have situation twanning. <laughs> Hold on now. We can't pause away. This module has been created to address and rectify observed deviations from established protocols, reaffirming the essential principles that all ERD agents are expected to adhere to consistently. Mm hmm Lesson one. Cert. Cert. What's cert? Cert stands for calmly collect evidence, eliminate threats, run away, and terminate self. What? 
given an interaction with an entity these are the order of actions an agent will take during expellation. First, of course, is data collection, as research remains the top priority of ERD. Second, eliminate the threat, unless such entity is on the preservation list. A dead entity can be studied, a dead agent cannot. If fighting back is futile, agents should run. If running is futile, agents should terminate themselves. Jesus. Let us look at an example, where an agent didn't follow the principles of CDRT. Okay. In 1989, Agent Redacted cool. was collecting data on Entity 59 Skinwalker. Suddenly cornered, Skinwalker. Agent Redacted fired all 12 shots of his service pistol into Entity. With no bullets left, Redacted was subjected to Entity 59 as ref. Remember to search, remember to keep an extra round. Okay. This video is another example. Think, following the values of search, what would you do? Anything. Are we supposed to see anything? Oh, it's too quiet. Oh. Dude, it's just darkness for most of it. Jesus. So much for calmly collect evidence. Lesson 2. Do's and don'ts. Improvements we need in ERD. To interact with entities, if new data can be collected. Don't risk losing obtained data by interacting too much. Okay. To help co-workers gather data. Don't become friends with co-workers. Hmm. To terminate co-workers who leak data. Don't hesitate. Explain later. Okay, so we need to Lesson kill anyone who leaks information. Protocol. Deviation from mission protocol endangers yourself, co-workers, and data collection. Assisting civilians is strictly forbidden, unless stated otherwise in mission protocol. Reminder, the punishment for deviation is termination. In 1990, Agent Redacted was on a mission studying an entity. The entity was located at Agent Redacted's house. Agent Redacted tried and successfully saved his wife. Agent Redacted didn't follow protocol and both him and his wife were terminated. What? Even though he got her out? This concludes the refresher. We will not remind about these topics again. See your supervisor if you have questions. Okay. A multiple question quiz about these topics will now commence. Oh shit, okay. So I do have to practice. Begin. An entity has killed your partner but is no longer exhibiting hostile behavior. What should you do? Well, if he's no threat, then collect evidence. Okay. After a mission, an entity unknowingly followed you home. You have tried to shoot the entity, but your efforts are futile. You're cornered in your room. What should you do? Well, if you're cornered, you can't eliminate it. Terminate. Ugh. Have enough self-respect to give yourself a painless death. You're carrying newly discovered data about an entity. You hear your partner upstairs, upstarts, cry for help. You know you could probably neutralize the threat attacking your partner. What should you do? Mm. Do not risk losing collected data. So I should have run? Ran? You have a do not interfere order on a mission studying an entity. The entity is killing civilians, one of which is your friend. You've been given a weapon strong enough to neutralize the entity. What should you do? Well, do not interfere. Help friend. Record for data. 
Oh my god. You overhear your superior talking about a plan to leak data from Erd. You're worried that you will be in trouble for solving the issue. What should you do? Do nothing. They probably know something you don't. Terminate your boss. Record the conversation and report your boss. Ask your boss to explain. Yeah, just terminate. Don't hesitate. Every second you don't terminate is... Oh, I passed. Nice. That was much harder than the face one. Doppelganger detection. Ooh! Due to its emergence as one of the most common and dangerous entities, special training on doppelganger detection was created. Originally thought to be its own entity type, the doppelganger is rather a class of entities doppelganger. <laughs> and humans. Uh huh. Doppelgangers can be detected from their abnormal features. The most common attributes to look for are loose skin, missing features, and incorrect features. Oh, Further okay. classification of the Peldangers can be made by observing the abnormal features. For example, skinwalkers always have loose skin. However, identification is covered in a different module. Okay. Using your cursor, click on the doppelganger amongst the humans. Doppelganger. Begin. Okay. Some are obvious, and in others, I'm like, I don't know. It's like they don't really fit their skin. Uh, they all look fine? I don't know. These are not that obvious. Oh, I'm going to do bad on this one. Does that count? I don't know. Oh! What? How? How did I pass that? Image recognition. This training module is to practice quick reaction skills on determining if something is a friend. <laughs> Ducky. Or a foe. Okay. Answer in the allotted time, else it will be marked incorrect. Begin. Okay, friend or foe? Incorrect? I didn't see anything. Yes. <laughs> that was correct. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's fine. It's a forest. Hmm. Okay, so anything with a mask is bad. Reminds me of The Shining, the movie. They're showing the pictures so late, I have to... Oh, what the fuck? Where are these pictures? Hey, that's where the colleague was 
screaming for help. Oh, oh, that's a creepy one. Threat for sure. <laughs> Ooh, Teletubby. Creepy. Don't like that. Oh, just made it. I heard a sound, that's why it's a threat. Oh, just barely made that. Hmm. What the fuck? Hmm. 20 of 30, pretty good. Don't know why the young boy in front of the World Trade Center... That was a World Trade Center, wasn't it? It came by so quickly, I was like, huh? Ooh, this is gonna be a tricky one for me. If it's listening Agents to things. Agents must be able to accurately transcribe audio coming from unusual sources. Besides being able to detect incoming attacks, agents must document what entities say during encounters, as research remains the number one priority. Type into the console what you hear, and oh press God. enter when complete. Okay. Begin. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Do not look behind you. You are weak and replaceable. Clap, 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 cloudy. With a chance of rain. Everything is fine. fine, fine, fine. Yeah. Okay, so far so good. I don't see, 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 see the sun often. Don't leave me here. Get out of my eyes. What? Kill my eyes? This is wrong. I don't think this is right, but... What's a replay button? No idea. What? I I am
That was an intense one. Well, I wasn't gonna play it. Hmm, I only missed one. How does it check though? How does it check like punctuation and stuff? Entity 101. Entities are otherworldly beings that humans have been encountering for thousands of years. For once was a rare sighting, entities have begun appearing more rapidly through time. This led to the founding of the Entity Research Department. Or are we just better at monitoring them? Because we do have more cameras and shit nowadays. The RD goal is researching entities to protect the public, but more importantly, finding utility in entities and where they come from. The leading theory of where they come from is backdoors, yet no back physical doors. evidence has been found yet. Back rooms? That's yes, where you come in. As an agent of ERD, you will be conducting highly confidential research missions to explore the gain of function of entities and finding their origin. This brief module will explain how entities are classified and show you the four entities ERD are focusing on in 1992. Okay. Entities are given an ID but are often given a nickname. Some entities are given a class that link them to a family of entities. Entities are classified in three ways, threat level, containment, and utility each rated by five levels. Hmm. Okay. Entity, E549. Nickname, Shadow People. Shadow People. Class, Doppelganger. Threat, Doppelganger. Moderate. Containment, Extreme. Utility, Significant. Shadow people, or night terrors, torment their prey during night when there is low visibility, often in bathrooms, when the prey is sleeping. Paralyzing their prey during sleep, shadow people will ominously watch from a distance. It isn't known why shadow people choose to kill, as they will often torment the same subject for many years, but when they do, the victim isn't touched. To the civilian world it seems the subject died in their sleep. The research goal this year is finding out how shadow people choose their prey, and if this can be influenced. If so, E549 could be used in advanced interrogation techniques. Sure. I wouldn't say Entity, so, but... E718. Nickname, Matronic. Class, Machine. Matronic? Threat, Low. Containment, Easy. Utility, Moderate. Matronics oh. take the form of animatronics. Playful figures that appeal to children. Matronics prey on children with no known case of an adult victim. It isn't known where Matronics bring their children prey, however, they are never seen again. Matronics, although dangerous, they are easy to terminate and capture. The past five years, agents of ERD children have been targeted by Matronics and have taken 107 to date. The research goal this year is finding why Matronsis are targeting Asian children and how to redirect their targeting. 107? Is that what he said? If taken 107 kids? Entity, E15. Whoa! Nickname, Skinwalker. Class, Doppelganger. Threat, Doppelganger. Severe. Containment, Moderate. Utility, Significant. Skinwalkers are ancient shapa shifters usually taking the form of animals and uncommonly humans, stealing their skin in the process. Skinwalkers are incredibly violent and when killed leave behind nothing but their body vector. Skinwalkers have a hard time replicating the natural movements of creatures they take control mm. of. Skinwalkers can often be identified by unusual eye size or loose skin. The research Loose goal this skin. year is finding a systematic way to identify skinwalkers 99% of the time and finding files. out defensive measures that can be taken to prevent loss of possession of body. 
Okay. Entity E59. Mm -hmm. Nickname the Rake. Class the Rake. Null. Threat moderate. Containment moderate. Utility low. Utility low. After the elimination of the Windigo, a new creature has seemingly taken its place in the Midwest of America and Southern Canada. Humanoid in shape, the rake has varying size limbs but usually conforms to a white pasty color skin. Rakes hunt at night and humans are their favorite prey. Rakes are susceptible to gunfire, yet are incredibly agile and thus hard to shoot. The research goal this year is finding out the cause of their resurgence and the correlation after the Windigo eradication. Hmm. Is there a point of taking out entities, if there is always a bigger fish? <laughs> So a new one took its place after the Wendigo was gone. Quiz will now begin. Oh shit. About these entities? Begin. Craig and Skinwalker Rake. Uh, Matronic. Mm. Shadow People. Civilian? <laughs> Could be, I don't know. What is that? I don't know. A child of an agent has been taken by a Medtronic. What should you do? Follow it. Unusual eyes? This is difficult. One to three years. They take a long time. Uh, terminate the entity. E yes, although they're hard to hit, right? You have a child and after watching this training module you have learned that your child is at risk of abduction. You should do nothing. Because they want to study, right? They don't want to prevent anything. Okay. Oh my god. It's time for the exam. Are we ready? Let's try it. So now we get a mix of everything, I'm assuming? The final exam will now begin. Oh my a god. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, let's try it. Begin. Click the faces. Uh, uh, uh. I don't know. Did you check the latch? Entity is starting if I were to do. Uh, run away. Shit. Yeah, the one on the right, right? Uh, no. Collect data. Okay. Oh my god, they're all terminate yourself. Definitely a threat. <laughs> okay. Your co-worker, who you consider a good friend, seems to be infected. Do you want to save him, but you should do this excellently. Uh, keep collecting data. Ugh. I couldn't read it all in time. Are you serious? Yeah. 
Threat. There was a face. Group of entities kidnap children in mission room only to observe from this one. Observe. That's your mission. Rake. Shadow. I think. Face. At least it tells me when I'm wrong, so... That's pretty nice. Oh, that one's creepy. Oh, three mistakes. HR module complete. Return to your supervisor for next instructions. Smold. <laughs> he took my computer name. <laughs> Stop watching before they find you. Elgato? Hi. Huh. It was it was really fun. Like it's I did have a good time taking the quizzes and trying to take in the information. I do wonder though, some of the pictures like I'm wondering if they own all the pictures that they used. Although I I think I got the game for free. Let me check. Lancaster Elite TBA. Oh, so there's another one coming? Yeah, the game is free to play, so at least that eliminates potentially them making a profit of like pictures that they don't really own. So that's that's fine. Kind of reminds me of um, a home safety hotline. This is your situation. What do you do? Kind of test. So for what it was and free to play a little horror game, I liked it. I hope you guys liked it too. Leave a like if you did, and thank you so much for watching.